All right, so I'm here with uh, Chris DeWolf Thompson. Just finished off a sparring session with uh, Akani Prime uh, Puzi. Uh, how are you doing, Chris? Uh, I'm good, thanks. It's, uh, thanks for having me back. Uh, it's good to be back and uh, excited to get back in the mix, you know? Excited to get back in the mix. You've got a Bridgeweight uh, contest coming up now against uh, an overseas opponent, Alexander Zhu. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, what you, what's your thoughts on him? Uh, you know, experienced fighter, got lots of fights. Uh, so looking forward to the fight. I think it's going to be a good uh, contest. I think he's going to come forward and uh, put in the work. And I think we're going to put on a good show for you know all the fans. Uh, I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, the change in weight division is not really a big thing. Uh, you know, I had to lose uh, quite a couple of kilos, but you know, uh, it's not an issue. I'm pretty much on the weight already. And uh, you know, looking forward to get out and looking forward to putting on the best uh, show I've had yet. Yeah, and, and do you think it's suitable to you this division as well? Because you you were once a cruiserweight at some point. Yeah, look, I was a cruiserweight uh, when I was uh, a lot younger. I do think the weight division is a lot more suitable to me. You know, the top heavyweights. Uh, you know, just coming off my head, Martin Bacoli and those guys, they're massive, you know. So the bridgeweight division does kind of angle more towards my kind of stature. And uh, look, I'm, I'm excited to campaign there and I think I can do really well and win some big titles there. And I just wanted to find it, the, the eventual, because there was, a, I think, marketing for a WBA title at some stage. Is there any belts on the line for this fight? No, there's no belts on the line. Uh, it's an uh, eight-rounder, but uh, we're doing it for the rankings, and uh, there will be a big uh, belt coming very soon. And, uh, you know, just get past this guy. I'm not looking past him. I need to, I need to do a number on this guy. And then uh, we can look to the future. You know, I, I really believe the future is bright, uh, and I'm excited for what's uh, coming. You're coming, you're coming up, you're fighting locally, and whenever you fight locally, you usually put on a good show for the fans. You, you're really good, you win a lot of fights here. Um, home ground advantage, does that factor in? Yeah, look, obviously the Wolfpack will be out there howling and uh, bringing in the vibe. It is really nice to fight at home, and you know, I'm excited to fight at home and put on a show and have my fans there and you know, have my people there, those closest to me. Uh, I'm really excited and uh, you know we're excited to fight at Emperors and uh, just fill out the place and have a vibe and uh, just like I said hear all the howls and have the wolf pack in the house. Um, does that, does that um, rule out an international fight uh, towards the end of the year? No, definitely not. You know, this is an international fight. I am an international fighter. And, uh, you know, like I've always said, I'll fight somebody in their mother's kitchen. Uh, that's just who I am. It's the nature of me as a person. And, uh, you know, excited to uh, have another international fight here at home. It would actually be nice to have an international fight of ho at home and uh, have my people behind me. But anything uh, goes in the future. How does your body react in this uh, division, you know, in comparison to, you know, maybe heavyweights or cruiserweights? Uh, to be honest, I think the only thing is my hand speed is a lot quicker, you know. Uh, I didn't, I was never a fat or overweight heavyweight. Uh, I don't believe I have really ever been overweight. But uh, I'm excited to see how this division does. I'm excited to see how my power is uh, in this division. I, I'm definitely going to be one of the bigger bridgeweight guys. Um, so, you know, I think when I touch them, they're going to they're gonna feel the power. I wanted to ask, how's the training camp gone for this particular one? Uh, my training camp has been phenomenal. I've had uh, really good sparring with Akani. Uh, he's been uh, generous enough to help me. We've put in lots and lots and lots of rounds. I've had a really good camp and uh, I'm physically peaking at the moment. I'm feeling really good. Uh, so the camp has been as smooth as it could go, you know. Yeah, obviously you, you and Akani um, shared the ring twice uh, before. He's obviously an excellent boxer in his own right as well. And um, what do you think is going to happen with him? Uh, hopefully he gets out soon, you know. Uh, like you say, Akani is an excellent fighter. And, uh, you know, iron sharpens iron. And uh, luckily he's, uh, he's helped me. He's been generous enough to help me with uh, numerous rounds every week. And uh, just excited to see what the future holds. I see there's some guys uh, in Cape Town talking about him. Uh, just stay away from him, you know. Uh, I think if that Jason Paul tries to get clever with Akani, I think Akani stops him inside four rounds. Uh, you know, uh, there aren't many cruiserweights that are calling his name out here locally, and there's a reason for that, you know. Uh, I think uh, when it comes to the cruiserweight division, he's the top guy in the country, and, uh, you know, excited to see what, hold, what is in the future for him. And uh, whatever does come for him, I'll help him with that camp, you know. Yeah, obviously you guys got a brotherhood now as well. 
For your future, uh, I know this fight's at Bridgeweight and you're potentially looking you know, to build, but is there still life at heavyweight for you? Yeah, you know, there is still definitely life at heavyweight for me. You know, whatever comes, whatever contract uh, Golden Gloves send my way, I'll sign it and take it, you know. I'm privileged enough to be working with Golden Gloves now and uh, I think they're going to map out my career very nicely and uh, they've got a good plan for me. So I'm just excited to see what uh, Rodney does, what Rodney gives me and uh, whatever he does give me, I'll nod and I'll, I'll do the number, you know. I'll do the job and whatever contract, that whatever weight division, except Cruiser, I can't go down to Cruiser, between uh, Bridger and uh, Heavyweight, whatever the Golden Gloves want, uh, you know, we'll march forward. I'm going to ask you my standard question. Prediction for the fight? Uh, I predict I'm going to stop him. Uh, I've been training for a stoppage. Uh, same thing like last fight, you know, I want to have a great performance, I want the, you know, the main thing is I want to bring an atmosphere, I want the, the crowd to be making noise, and uh, I believe I'm going to stop him in, in, like I said last time, in devastating fashion, and I'm going to do so. What do you think of his ability, though? You must have watched some footage of him. Look, he's a good, like I say, he's a good fighter, he's very seasoned. Uh, his last couple of fights uh, haven't been matched against the greatest opponents. Um, I think that's where I have the advantage. I've had some really tough fights abroad and uh, some really top level fighters, you know, of uh, only four champions and in their hometowns. And, uh, you know, that brings its own uh, experience, you know, it brings that, that own not, like, acknowledgement of my skill. Uh, and so, look, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what happens, you know. When you get in the ring, there's going to be 50 plus fights in that ring between him and I. And uh, I think we're going to put on a great fight. How would you stack him up against some of the other international fighters that you've previously shared the ring with? Uh, no, uh, he's not in that class, you know. I fought uh, champi like real champions, Olympic champions, continental champions, national champions, all in their hometown. And uh, to be honest, I don't think he compares to those guys. But, you know, it's all on the night. Let's see what he brings. Let's see what I bring. I believe uh, I'm going to outclass him. And like I said, I believe I'm going to stop this guy. You mentioned climbing up uh, the rankings. Which particular Bridgeweight rankings are you looking at? Because there seems to be two. There's a WBA and there's a WBC. Um, which ones are you looking at? All of them. Let's go! Yeah, you know, whichever one. Uh, whichever organization, as many belts as possible. Uh, I want to get rankings in both of them. I want to win world titles in both of them. And, uh, you know, let's go. Uh, the more... Uh, Organizing bodies that I can win belts in the better, you know, the better for me, the better for my sponsors and uh, the better for South Africa. So, you know, looking at uh, taking all other the organizations that offer the Bridgeweight World title. And obviously, uh, South African is contesting for the WBC Bridgeweights, which is good for the Bridgeweight division and it's good for South Africa as well. Kevin Lorena is going to be doing that. Will you be keeping your eyes on that fight? Yeah, look, obviously, Kevin's been flying the flag extremely high for South Africa for a long time, you know. And, uh, you know, he's the real deal. He's also passed every test he's had. I believe uh, if he fights a Coley, I believe he stops a Coley. Uh, I also believe that if he fought that uh, previous uh, Alan Babbage or any of those guys, I, I believe he's, he's like a level above them, you know. Yeah, that Rosinski, I believe he stops Rosinski as well, you know. Um, so, you know, he's doing exciting things. He's flying the flag very high and, uh, you know, I've got Kevin pretty convincingly against uh, Akoli. And uh, just a message for the Wolfpack uh, before the fight night. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys uh, on the 23rd. Uh, it's going to be an exciting night. Come out in your numbers and let's uh, make that uh, house rain. You know, it's going to be a good atmosphere. And uh, looking forward to putting on a fight for all of you guys. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, Chris, the Wolf Thompson, anything? Lastly, any thank yous, any shout outs for anybody? Uh, thank you to all my sponsors. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you to all the fans. Uh, on the 23rd, it's going to be a good fight. And uh, we'll see you guys there. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you.